when Barack Obama was on the campaign trail and said, oh, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have an army of people in America and they'll be better financed than, uh, you know, than the, the military. And I thought to myself, what? What? Who is he talking about? I think AmeriCorps is part of that army. To really go for it, I mean, you really do the AmeriCorps pledge, I think you have to be dressed like this. I think, I think you have to stand up and take your pledge. I will get things done for America to make our people safer and smarter and healthier. I am an AmeriCorps member, and I will get things done. <laughs> Edelweiss, Edelweiss. You're now the man with a plan, kind of. Glenn Beck, the author of the big bestseller, <laughs> Common Sense, yes. or How to Vacation in Later Hosen. <laughs> Now, Beck, you got to love New York. An hour before I went on the air, I said, somebody's got to give me some later hosen. Now, why, though? Why, why the German outfit? Why the Edelweiss? Why? This is AmeriCorps. This is America. Yeah, I don't know. I just what is the sound Alpine? of music. What I, is the uh, Alpine? Don't thing? you love the Alps? I, love, I just got back from the Alps. Yeah, I just thought, you know, I think it's about time that uh, we used ridicule in this, in this country. I think, I think... Who were you ridiculing? The Germans? The AmeriCorps people? Well, partly me. Or your I mean, look, yeah, yeah, partly well, me. Who were you ridiculing? Part, big part of me. Okay. I think this whole idea of AmeriCorps, and which would, will eventually, uh, if Rahm Emanuel gets his way, will be required service from 18 to 24 year olds. Like they have in Switzerland. You've got to join the army or That's some kind of thing. you got to do it. That's fantastic. But, but look, I'll pledge to change the world. Amer AmeriCorps is just a bunch of kids volunteering to do good things. Mentoring. Volunteer. There's a difference between a volunteer and a draft. No, they don't, we don't have that yet. Uh, yet. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Okay, but it's always about what's around a corner with you. Just say we don't get it. <laughs> just say we don't get it. Just say you look, don't get it. It's AmeriCorps. You volunteer to help your community or another community. I did that in college. I I've had, never had I went a problem to with Kentucky and to Berea I've and helped the poor people. I've never had a problem with AmeriCorps. Okay, nobody never. forced me to wear short pants, but I went and it was good. So I don't know. I what want you to know when you're in AmeriCorps. Well, you know, are you going to get because we're going to make them? Are, do they get little badges? Do they get like this badge I got for harassing but what's a bank? What's wrong with that? Hmm? What what is wrong with a bunch of people signing up because, to help other people? Because you've got a community organizer as president of the United States. Oh, so he, he is just because it's his idea you didn't like it. No, just because we are being infested. This country is is having framework built around it. There's an exoskeleton built around our uh, an our exoskeleton. Republic. Yes. Wow. Does it have later I think. And this is very easy to do, but I think he's making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach, I'm not with you on the America though. I think the America thing could be a good thing. I do. All right, now, you put on your factor hat. You yes. Put on, you're right? Yes. When, when it says a TF, that's the factor. Mm -hmm. And then you interviewed yourself because no other guests will come on your program. Nobody. I will tell you. say no. Welcome to the program. Um, a lot of people say you've lost well, your mind. Um, you know, I have lost my mind. Um, you know, but... What's the difference between me and you? You know what I mean? I've lost my mind. You're a big fat fatty. I mean, you're starting to sound oh, a little nuts. I'm to sound crazy. Yeah, you are. <laughs> just, just a little bit. What a surprise that you would say that. I knew you'd say that. The magic bean in my pocket told me you'd say that. Oh, I know who okay. you are. Okay, um, thank you very oh, much. Oh, I don't? Really? Yeah. yeah, you don't really. Get off of my screen! Get I... it off of my screen, All right, you we'll, uh... pinhead! Now, not many people know this, but he has a twin brother, and there that's it. You know, and mm -hmm. it's... You're well, off. I told you about the missing brother that I had last week. You're, oh, you're, you're off, off two days boys. a week, and he's in, and nobody even knows. Nobody even knows. <laughs> it's, a, it's the greatest scam ever. Now, that was just making fun of people who are saying that you're certifiable, right? That was mocking them, ridiculing them. People are saying that? <laughs> yes. Yes, and actually it was a, my homage to you. I was wearing my uh, factor my hat. factor hat, right. and the reason why I have a factor hat is because, you know, sometimes I'll go into really dangerous areas here in Manhattan, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, like Greenwich Village, right. where they, they take people like you and hang us up by piano wire. And you see that and hat, they so run. I, no, I think it's great because they're usually so stupid, they don't know I'm saying right into their face, the, the factor, factor. Okay. the factor, and they're like, TF. Is that a good school? Uh-uh. Now, here's a serious question. Yeah. Um, you make points on your program that people will affect people's lives. You wrote Common Sense. You, you want you want the country of a good country, okay? Yes. But you do a lot of this kind of whacked-out stuff, the dancing with the later hosing, interviewing yourself. I, 
do, do you run a risk that some people are just going to dismiss the serious stuff that you're doing, the important points you're trying to make, because of the burlesque? I think that burlesque. Yeah, that, I mean, that I've means never, it's not, it's although not about I'm that. willing to go. No. I don't think we need to see okay, that. So, look here. Uh, that. That's an Maybe overall, overall, okay, overall right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes, I do run that risk. Yes. But have you seen the ratings at 5 o'clock? I have. Okay. Don't get those ratings at 5 o'clock by being Charlie Rose. Um, my, my whole idea is, I mean, my magazine is called Fusion. You, fuse, inter, you, put, you put entertainment and you put the truth. Right. You fuse them together. People will watch. But can it be confusing? Oh, I think you know, it's stupid, you know what I mean? It's not confusing for you, is it? Yes, it's very confusing. Well, I should probably <laughs> take that page yourself. Well, <laughs> no, no. I know what performance art is. I do a bit of it here. We don't wear later hose in here unless it's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. stylish. Yes. Um, but I do think you run a risk of, of people just not knowing what this is all about, particularly not Glenn Beck radio people. They know you. And the television people, but people are just kind of cruising by. And Here's the thing I can't do, I, and I made this decision early on because I, my radio show is a lot of comedy too, and get a lot of complaints from people, etc., etc. I can't service the people who don't watch or listen. If you only half watch or half listen, well, you're going to be offended, you're going to be confused. But Bill, I do know that you watch the show, just so like I watch the character. You, so you're basically you're putting out a narrative out there that yeah. you have to follow every you day. You got to follow it. Okay, so it's not a standalone. Uh, it, it all no, the leader hosing doesn't really work on its own. Yeah, it's part of a. I have to. It's I have part to say of a trilogy. When I a saw this trilogy, I have to say that when I saw this in my office, <laughs> number one, yeah. you know, I, I thought you were back on the sauce. <laughs> and number two, it happen at any time. Yeah, yeah. And number two, uh -huh. I said to myself, "Is this is this the Hitler Youth thing he's doing?" No, you know. That's because the Hitler Youth had the little short pants, and they were yeah, like, oh, but that's leader. That's leader in there. That's. Completely Are you different. sure it wasn't the Hitler Youth thing that you were doing with the AmeriCorps stuff? I think, You're people, to I think people tie it would, in there. I think people that would confuse people. I think they might. <laughs> Just saying. Beck, I think it was the Hitler Youth thing. I don't know what you're talking about, Bill uh -huh. O'Reilly, and I am offended by that <laughs> and confused. <laughs> All right, Glenn Beck, everybody. If you have an unusual outfit at home, you can send it to him. <laughs> no, please don't. It. No, he please don't. It. Okay. In a moment, Ronald Reagan, the only subject tonight of the Great American Culture Quiz, and later.